Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and check this out. Today we're going to be reviewing the Rating King. It's actually by Ichin. It's actually by Ichin. Uh, it's a Banggood brand and this is called the Rating King 4x4 FPV Buggy 114th scale. Uh, going to go ahead and do bashing. It says go bash right in the front. So yes, we are going to bash it. But check it out. It's got an FPV camera right in here with a built-in transmitter. All you need to do is lock on the channel with your goggles or FPV screen and go have some fun. So we're going to be doing a full review on this. This is a brushed motor. This is not brushless. So it is brushed. And it's also using a 7.4 volt 1500 milliamp hour battery. There's the controller there. So in this review, we're going to be unboxing it, setting it up, inspecting it, setting it up, bashing it and doing a pros and cons. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is pop this sucker open. Super simple, and there's the truck right on the top. Just pulls right out of the cardboard there. Here's the instruction manual. <laughs> And there's two boxes in the bottom that looks like that's parts and that looks like that's the controller. Let's take the controller box apart here, see what we get. So pistol grip controller, nice. And on the controller we have our trim, steering and throttle, on off switch. Oh, there's already batteries in that, look at that. Did they already put batteries? Yes, look at this, we get rechargeable 2400 milliamp hour nickel nickel metal hydride batteries pistol grip really nice it's got a really hard nice and tight foam it feels solid and flipping up to the top here it looks like we do have a throttle and steering reverse switch and also a steering dual rate so if you wanted to lessen the amount the tires can um, can actually turn for maybe beginner purposes go ahead and adjust that looks like a little rheostat um, our potentiometer there you can turn to adjust all that and just the basic controller pistol grip throttle um, neutral and reverse and stop pushing backwards just like any other pistol grip and in the other box let's see what we get stickers always nice so we can put on those stickers as we see fit Okay, well this is cool. It looks like they do give us like a high definition camera. We can just pop right on the top here. And so we'll be able to get our FPV through the onboard FPV camera here. It looks like this is the transmitter back here. But they also give you this little high definition camera that we're just gonna mount right on top. So let me just pull this out of the package and see what this thing's all about. Let's get our handy dandy little uh, candy cane pen here so we can see what's going on. Yeah, so micro SD card slot, that's where we're gonna plug in for the power. A little Pico connector there for the power. And then this is looking like this is where we're gonna put in a 1S battery. Cool, so not only can you do FPV, but they do provide you a higher definition cam to also capture your video. And they provide you with the battery as well for that camera. Here's another package here, and I'm just opening this up, and we're seeing that we do get a 250 milliamp hour uh, battery with the uh, Wakara, Micro Wakara Losi connector there. And this is a 1S, and that's gonna plug directly into this cable to power on our high definition camera. Here are some attachments, and they even give you a charger to go ahead and charge that little 1S battery we get in the, in the package. So we've got 3M double-sided sticky tape and we have zip ties that they give us for all the mounting. And here's the charger for the main battery, which we'll get to in just a second. Looks like a very simple charger. There's no big bulky charger for this. It's just like a USB charger. And that's our um, 2S balance port that we're gonna charge the main battery in. They've already, as you can see, pre-trimmed um, zip ties on the body clips, which is always easier to deal with. You can see them here on the body, they're already all mounted up. So they give us one extra and a little bag to hold them all. And the instruction manual, I'm not gonna go through really in depth here, but uh, they do give you, let me zoom out here for a second. They do give you the instruction manual to show you all the controls. There's all the controls on the controller. Oh, one more thing I missed in the package. This actually slips over the antenna. So check this out. That's going right in there. And we're just pushing that down solid in the bottom there so we get better range for FPV. So keep in mind that that is the FPV antenna. Um, it's a 5.8 gigahertz and this is actually the transmitting portion way up here at the top. 
So they bring this really high up so you get better video because it's harder to transmit that video than it is to transmit the signal or receive the signal for the controller. Okay, so now that we got a gander at the remote control, the parts, and the manual is here too, let's take a little bit of a more in-depth look at the actual truck and see what this is all about. It feels like there's actually oil in these shocks. They are very soft and supple. Uh, there might be a little bit of oil, I can't really tell, but they do feel pretty soft. The tires, so the tires aren't super grippy. This is mainly for, you know, kind of an off-road, on-road, dual purpose type of tire. They are nice and soft and sticky, and there is foam in there, so they're definitely going to um, soak up a lot of the bumps and stuff. The body has all this nice plastic on it here, so if we peel this off, we, we get that nice shine of the Lexan body. So that's cool. They're you know pretty thoughtful of protecting um, the actual body, so I'd recommend definitely taking off this um, film here if you want to really see the shine. There we go, that looks much better. And you can see that shine there. Of course, it's gonna get scratched easier, but that just looks much better. It does look like the axles are steel. If we kind of look in there, we can see that we've got steel dog bones in there and also uh, metal toe links or steering links. You can see that there. So we're gonna have some, some super durable um, ability to handle jumps and crashes and stuff. And same on the back, we have the H arms, A arms. The A arms are kind of like just a single, they go into a single steel rod on the top to hold everything together. And same thing with the rear, we do have those steel drive shafts, dog bones on the rear. So that's awesome. Flipping it over, looking at the bottom plate of the chassis, it's looking pretty good. Um, it looks like it is kind of a, like a mini tub chassis here. And we actually have some like little guards here as well. So this this kind of roll cage is all linked in to the Lexan body. So it looks like it's going to be very durable. It's going to be able to take some jumps and tumbles and scratches with ease. It's not a too like brittle plastic. It feels like it's quite flexy. So it's going to flex instead of break. We've got a nice front bumper here. It's going to be able to take some big hits. And also in the back, it's got this sweeping up uh, rear bumper, which turns into this kind of plastic bar here. So it's looking really good so far. And of course, this is where we're gonna mount on if we wanna use that high definition camera. We're just gonna mount that on with some double-sided sticky tape. You can put some of those zip ties on there if you wanted to, and then uh, mount your battery somewhere on top with that sticky tape or Velcro as well. What I'll be doing is I'll be recording this video on the SD card as we go out and test this. And also in um, some FPV goggles. So I do have these FPV goggles that I'm going to be recording. These have a DVR in here, these Amways that I'm currently using. And so I'll be able to show you what I'm seeing from this FPV camera here. Speaking of the camera, we can see that the camera is just kind of screwed up to the top of the roof there on the roll cage. And so very secure. And then we have the outputs of the camera coming down and running all the way back into the um, video transmitter. The instructions are a little vague on what this button does, but we'll definitely be hooking that up in just a sec to see what this does. But I'm assuming this is probably changing the frequency. This does take 400 milliamp of power, they're stating in the instructions. So if you just wanna drive around without FPV, unplug this and then just plug in the main, as you can see the Dean's connectors here, plug in the main battery of the Dean's connector, drive it around without FPV and you'll save a little bit of power. Anyway, I wanna test the FPV real quick. So I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna power up my FPV watch and let's see if we can get the FPV signal. Okay, so if you're gonna use the FPV, definitely just plug in this little JST connector first and we're gonna power on. Right in the body, we're hearing some beeps. Okay, so everything should be powered up and check this out. So there is the initial light. What it's saying in the instructions is just flip these switches. So let's try it. So I'm gonna flip this. Let's try the middle one down. Yeah, so that actually changed it blue. Let's try the three down. Green, let's try number one down. Off, okay. So if you have number one down, if all three of them are down, it's off. Middle one up is red, so I'm just gonna leave it at red probably for now. That's kind of neat, like a tail light. Let's boot up this uh, VR Huck FPV watch. This thing's great. I'll have this in the description down in the link down there so you can check this out if you want to. But a great little wrist watch that's actually an FPV screen. So let's power this on and see if we can pick up the FPV signal. So I'm just holding in the power button. 
Wow, and there we go. We already have a signal. It looks like it's maybe not quite on the right channel. So I'm just gonna flip through some channels and see what comes in the clearest. There we go. So it looks like that's the channel we wanna be on. So look at that. So it's a super low latency FPV. Now it's looking really good. Whatever FPV screen or goggles you want, you'll be able to see that hood in view. And you can actually see the tires on the front as well. So that's gonna be really fun um, to drive around in FPV. Awesome. So now that we have a clear channel on our screen, let me push this red button again and just see if that is changing channels. It's actually moving the location of the OSD. That's kind of funny. You see how it's bringing it down on the screen a little? And then it's turning it off. So you keep pushing it, it turns it on, and then it's dropping the OSD lower and lower and lower, and then it turns off. Let's see what happens when I have it on the first setting and then I click and hold it. Okay, that's changing the channels. So each channel is changed by clicking and holding. Okay, so say for example, we wanted to try to take off the body. I do see these body clips, so let's just see if we can do that. So pulling these guys off, there are four of them, two in the back and two in the front. So I just pull these off. I like how they put those pre-zip ties on there, make it really easy. And this thing should just pop off. So pulling it up. And yes, it does. So we just want to kind of be careful if we do have this power for the video transmitter plugged in. Just want to plug that JS, unplug that JST so we don't ruin the cables. But check that out. Everything else is on the top. The um, video uh, camera is wired right into the transmitter, so you don't have to deal with that. And all we have to deal with is the power plug. So there's the top of the body off and we can kind of see it more in depth inside here. So you can see the shock mounts, everything looks very durable. It is all a nice durable looking plastic. And there is an on off switch if you did want to be powering on and off with this or if you just wanted to power on when you plug the batteries in, just leave that on. Looks like we have some nice uh, Velcro straps to, you know, Velcro and hold in our battery here. Speaking of the battery, let's take this little guy out 1500 milliamp hour lipo there it is 2s 30c battery it's not in a hard case it does have a handy little grip on the balance connector here 2s balance connector uh, dean's connector for plugging in there we can see the receiver antenna so the receiver antenna they chose to just lay it in the chassis like this i'm not sure if i really like that much so what i might do is poke a hole in the roof and pop this up as well, perhaps. And there's the servo just laying down in the chassis. You can see that we do have that steel rod going all the way through because this is four wheel drive. So it looks like it's got a nice and bulletproof uh, drive system that's not gonna break anytime soon. In the front, we do have some mixed steel and plastic. And there's our receiver a little closer up. You can see that there, it only has uh, two channels plugged in for steering and our throttle. There is our brushed motor. So it's saying hot because this thing's probably gonna get hot after you're driving it around. It does have a nice little aluminum or steel motor mount here. So that'll act as some cooling on the motor, kind of a heat sink, but that's just basically a mount to get it in and mesh to the internal gears here. So looks like it's gonna be a solid little truck. Don't wanna miss the wheels and the rims. It looks like the, uh, the rubber is glued onto the rim. I can see glue all the way around, so that's good. Not gonna be flying off. And it's got this nice kind of hex pattern uh, plastic rim here. It's not like a B-locked rim or anything, but there are our um, wheel nuts. It's like a smaller Teflon hex, so they're not gonna be unscrewing on their own, so that's great. Cool guys, so it looks like it's working good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and charge everything up and make sure that we've got fresh batteries in the controller. We'll be doing um, some FPV driving around the neighborhood. Again, I will have it recorded in my goggles, so you'll be seeing what I'm seeing in the goggles up on the screen, as well as what this um, high-definition FPV camera is seeing up here. And we'll be doing some range testing and all that. So let's go ahead and uh, charge everything up and go drive this guy. Have some fun. Okay, guys, so here we are with the Rating King FPV truck. And there's, there was a bunch of stickers in the box that actually say F14, so I guess this is also considered the F14, but I got some stickers on it, you can see here, and I got the camera mounted up on top, just use, use some double-sided sticky tape here. Went ahead and put, um, use the two zip ties they give in the box and just went ahead and zip tied that on also. In case we have some flips, it doesn't rip off. 
I think that's probably why they put those in the box. Um, but as you can see, I've got the antenna here with, there was also a sticker, a flag sticker. So I went ahead and put that on the top for the FPV. And something else you'll notice is I just took a little mini screwdriver and just kind of poked a hole in the top. So the control antenna for the RC controller had a little bit better control. Really simple, poke the hole, pop it up through, should get much better range. This is actually, it says in the instructions, it's a 600 milliwatt video transmitter. So that should be a pretty good um, power for some FPV range. But what we're gonna do is first of all, we're gonna take the remote controller. I haven't driven it yet. I'm gonna just do a line of sight quick video of how powerful it is, if how, how it is in some grass, on the road, over some curbs, and also in some rocks over there. Just do a little bit of bashing line of sight with this camera. And then I'm gonna pop on the FPV goggles after a couple of minutes and we'll do a range test in, in the neighborhood, see how it is, how far we can get. I'm gonna go around my house here, um, go like through the backyard and stuff and see how the cutout is in the FPV and see kind of see how far we can get around the subdivision, just kind of drive on the sidewalk. And it might be cool because it's gonna show you guys how it is for the normal person just bashing around their house and how it's gonna perform. Controller on first and I have everything, I have all the FPV and the video cameras and everything unplugged right now, but I do have the power battery plugged in and so I'm just gonna turn on the switch here. We hear a couple of beeps. And let's see how this thing does. So we can see that we need to trim it out because it's going too far to the right. So I need to take that steering trim and I need to um, turn it. So I'm turning it to the left a little bit. And what we wanna do is we just wanna go steering trim and just kind of drive in a straight line until it drives, drives kind of straight. Wow, plenty of power on this 2S, that's for sure. I'll try that one more time before we start driving. So, steering trim. That's actually pretty good, good and straight. Here's full throttle coming at us. That's full brake, so it's got really good brakes. Very good acceleration too. That's full acceleration there. Here's the steering rate switch there. And that's zero. So it's funny, because if you turn it counterclockwise, you get no steering, and if you turn it all the way clockwise, this little knob, you get your full steering. So I'm just gonna leave it full steering there. And this is how it is. Wow, you can actually do some drifting. Keep in mind, this is four-wheel drive. Wow, nice. So, full throttle. Let's try full throttle in again and brakes. Whoa, so it's gonna slip if you hold it full throttle and turn. That's full brake. And let's see how it does. That's full throttle and turn. So you can see that the rear is spinning out. It should be four wheel drive though. Yeah, it is four wheel drive. It's just the differentials coming into play when you turn really hard. And it's kind of um, spinning out a bit. So cool, so let's just kind of go over some of these bumps here and not use up too much battery power. And then we'll go into the FPV. Okay, there's a little jump. So it is gonna hit the bottom. And keep in mind that these shocks do have adjustable little screw caps. So just down from the, the, the shock cap, there are these little screw adjusters. Whoops, there's little screw adjusters here. So you can make the shocks tighter or looser depending on if you're gonna be doing a bunch of jumps. So I'm just gonna leave it stock for this, this review. Let's go over to these rocks here. Oh yeah, so we can kind of bash through some stuff. No problem, over a curb, no prob. Nice and quick. Let's try to get through these rocks real quick. Oh yeah, you can just floor it right through that kind, kind of rocks. It looks like it's gonna be really fun FPV because it's hard to flip. You see it almost flipped there. Wow, this is gonna be fun. So in some grass here. Can definitely do grass okay. Some jumping. Cool, so I'm kind of just bashing it everywhere. Oh yeah, the suspension is actually pretty plush. You can't really get over a full curb, but little stuff like that, the four wheel drive actually kicks in. Oh, there we go. Looks like the batteries. That's okay. All right. So let's see what, so I, I can't get into reverse for some reason. Maybe I have the throttle. Okay, 
Okay, how come I can't get into reverse? There we go. Okay, so you know what it is, it's the throttle trim. Make sure you're at the right amount. It looks like it might be between two and three all the way to the right. Because I can't seem to be getting into reverse at times. Hmm. Okay, so if you can't go into reverse, it seems like you've got to maybe give it some some throttle forward. There we go. So maybe a little con, kind of hard to get into reverse sometimes. Anyway, what we were doing was we were trying to do this. <laughs> we we're trying to get over this rock pile. Of course, it's not going to go through those giant rocks. So what's up with the reverse? That's a little bit strange. Okay, so I see what it is. So what you need to do, um, my bad there, I should have been looking at the ESC, is you need to look down at the ESC there, and then with your throttle trim, you see how there's that little red blinking light there? You wanna use your throttle trim until it's not blinking at all. So if you go too much to the right or too much to the left, you're gonna get blinking on the ESC. So put it right where it's just not blinking, and then reverse is no problem whatsoever. Cool, so it seems like a powerful little buggy here. Nice and quick. Use bashing if you wanted to, line of sight. So let's go ahead and um, grab this thing and put on the FPV goggles and I'll record that for you. And let's go drive around the neighborhood in the house and see what we can do. Okay guys, so this is gonna be lots of fun. I got the Amway Commander goggles here. And what I've got are two monopole linear antennas on here. This was from the Hubson X4 Pro quadcopter. And this is actually the one that comes with the goggles. Since this is a monopole linear antenna for FPV up here, I wanted to try to match them with these two. And if I'm having some trouble, I'm gonna try to put the one that comes with the Amway as well. This is a linear polarized. This is not a circular polarized uh, panel antenna. So it should actually pick up a little farther away if you point it in the right direction if we're losing signal with these two. So this is going to be great. Again, I'm going to record it to this SD card in the goggles so you can see what the FPV is like. And I'm also going to be recording it on their Feel Cam 720p high definition camera they give you in the box. I've got a little SD card in there. And the way this one works really quick before we get started on this um, FPV test is uh, once you power this up, you know, you just plug it in to the battery. I've got the battery mounted up on the bottom here with some sticky tape. And so before you start, you just want to plug these two in, make sure that this is plugged in here, this JST cable, so that the video transmitter has power as well. And to start recording on this cam to give you in the box, the high definition cam, you have to press that little red button once and you're gonna see the light, uh, red light blinking on the back here indicating that it's starting to record. So let's get everybody everything powered up and have some fun with FPV. Gonna go around the house a couple times, kind of like I do when I fly my minis, little micro quads, and see how the signal is, do some adventures. Um, I think nobody's home at this house here right now, so we can go in their backyard and try it, try it over there, and then we'll go down the street, try some FPV, see how it is. Okay, so plugging in this JST. I do have the main switch off on the car, but I do have the battery in. And then we wanna plug in this little camera here with this little mini connector. This might be a little tough because you're kind of sticking your fingers in here. So the way I have it mounted, I have it so you can kind of pull the cables out a bit and then shove them back underneath, just like that. All right, cool, got everything on. Let me just start recording on these goggles here. These Amways are great because they got a built-in DVR. And I just, you know what's cool is these scan to the channel. So you hold down the button and it scans to the clearest channel. So those are recording on the clearest channel possible. Don't have to do any fiddling with anything. So I don't see if I can fit these goggles over my hat cam and everything. Wow, what a clear picture. You guys see that clear, nice picture. Nice, this is gonna be fun. All right, so. Now I have the FPV goggles on and I'm just, I'm gonna set this guy down right here and I'm gonna start the recording on the HD camera on top. Check for that blinking light, yep. Okay guys, we're good to go. Just making sure my antennas are sticking straight up. What a nice clear picture, man. Now keep in mind, this is 600 milliwatt. Turn in the tires, testing. So I'm just gonna stand up here in the shade and 
First thing I'm gonna do is go around my house. So I'm hopefully hoping everything is recording and you guys can see what I'm seeing. Let's go underneath the trampoline here. I need to mow my grass. Oh, this is great, man. And I'm just gonna kind of go. There's a sidewalk. There's a sidewalk around my house. That's full speed. Woo! This is neat. Okay, let's see what happens when we go around the back side of the house. How much breakup we get? This 600 milliwatts seems to be doing really good. So I'm completely. I've got the whole house between me. There we go. Got over the little gate. So I've got the entire house between me and the truck, and it's doing great so far. These antennas really are doing good. Let's go along the sidewalk here over by the neighbor's house. These guys aren't home either, so... I'm just gonna kind of do a little bit of not really spying, but... <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is so awesome. And keep in mind, guys, that we are doing kind of a range test, too. Look how clear the FPV got. So there's my house over there, and I'm standing by one of those palm trees. We definitely don't want to hit any cars, so I'm going to go on the sidewalk. Oh, man, this is just great. These guys aren't home either. So I'm going to do a little bit of an adventure here. There's a little hill here with some steps. So we'll see how far we can get. There's those steps I was talking about. Oh, can't quite get over that one. I don't have to get into reverse. Let's go around them. Oh, there's a bird. Oh, is that a cardinal? Cool. Oh, okay, let's get up here. Oh, neat. So I'm just going on a little adventure. So there's my house. I got that little gate around it. Let's go back in here into the woods. And let's go down these steps. See if it flips over. Wow, so it's actually, it's holding up pretty well. The control's still doing fine. Of course, you don't want to go anywhere too crazy when you're FPV because you, know, you might get stuck and then it might be kind of hard to, to get it loose. Looks like this grass in their backyard is, is pretty uh, bulbous. <laughs> There's quite a bit of mounds here. Here's some rocks. Let's see if we can traverse these rocks and get through. Yeah! see what we just got through here. So I'm on the other side of their house and I still have control, no problem. Yeah, so that's that's what we just got through. Uh oh, can't reverse for some reason. So you may need to kind of play with the, um, the throttle trim, it seems. There we go. If your reverse stops, play with the throttle trim and make sure you're in that dead zone. Okay, so here we are completely behind their house. We're getting a little bit of breakup, but that's, you know, that's reasonable. No problem. That looks like that's like a hose there. Okay, that's their hose. Sprinkler head. All right, let's get back up on the driveway here. And let's go down the street. I'll stay on the sidewalk. Oh, I'm kind of hooked up. Okay, reverse issues again. Let's adjust our throttle trim. Which way? Which way are we adjusting? There we go, okay. Oh, there, okay. Let's come around and get back on the sidewalk. There we go. And let's go. So there's next to no latency in these goggles, so it's not because of the latency, it's just my driving is not so great. Let me go on the sidewalk and see just how far we can get, what the range is like. Um, oh, looks like a lizard ran across the sidewalk there. There's our neighbor's house. I don't want to go bother them. I'm just going to cruise down here. So keep in mind, guys, I will have the high def video up on the screen. And also, um, you know, also the FPV. So here's where we're going to get a little scratchy because I'm going around that neighbor's house. Whoa. FPV is getting a little tough to see, so I'm going to go back. So I'm like, I was going through two homes right there. You know what I mean? So. You know, you, you get def. Oh sh! Can we get over this? Oh, I'm at, like in a. Oh my gosh! Oh, I think I'm almost falling in the storm drain. Let's see if we can get out of this. Come on, baby. Oh. I really want to get out of this without going and grabbing it. 
I think we're almost up. We're almost out. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Which way? Let me adjust the throttle trim a little bit. Can we go reverse at all? There we go, okay. Oh! Oh! Oh man, I'm like almost up. There's the shadow of the truck. <laughs> yes, we made it. Okay, cool. Whoa, don't go in it. All right, so now we're in the road. I don't want to get run over by any cars. And it feels like, what does it feel like? It feels like my throttle trim. That's good, okay. So let's see what we're, where we're at. Is there any cars around? I don't see any cars. I'm gonna full throttle up the street, coming home. There's a full throttle. It's going pretty straight. Nice. What a riot. Okay, let's do some some jumps off some curbs here. Everybody's on vacation because it's summertime. Full throttle. Woohoo! Kinda heard it scrape. Oh nice. Super fun. Oh yeah, jumping curbs and FPV, that's how it looks. Let's jump this. Whoa! having a riot man okay so we kind of found the limitations of these monopole antennas oh especially on the goggles oh you know what I want to try is jump in these rocks like I did in the line of sight test so let's try and jump the same rocks we did man this FPV is so clear when you're fairly close range okay I'm gonna go straight through here and launch it ready set go yes I'm here in the car. Okay, that's not. So so keep in mind that you want to be wary of cars because we've got a wide angle, but you can't see on the sides and behind you. Yeah, jumping again. I wonder if my hat cam's picking this up. If I do get this on footage with my hat cam as well. <laughs> oh, man. That's so awesome. Oh, okay, we flipped. So finally flipped over. That was my bad because I was trying to... Uh, can we flip back? Uh, nope. Okay, let me go grab that and we'll continue on. Okay, cool. So I'm driving FPV again while I'm while I'm walking. Probably don't want to do this, so I need to get back in the shade. It's like when you're when you're using F, when you're wearing FPV goggles, you kind of feel like you're in the driver's seat, but I'm not. I'm I'm walking somewhere else. So unless I can see my feet, let's see if I can see myself and walk while I'm driving, so I can guide myself. I do have my goggles on. <laughs> so okay, just purely FPV from the truck trying to walk through a gate. Don't hit anything. Whoa. <laughs> Silly stuff. All right. Oh, can you get over that? Oh yeah, the four-wheel drive kicked in. And we're back in the backyard. Awesome. I'm gonna get back in the shade. And let's get, let's get going again. Do some more bashing. Woohoo! Let's full throttle down and launch this curb. Yeah! That was full throttle right over that curb there. We're just gonna have loads of fun with this thing. Oh man, this is great. So if you ever wanted to try FPV, you know what would be fun too is I probably wanna be doing some, I'm probably gonna start getting into some like FPV crawling videos. That would be super fun. But you can see how this thing is just sailing over anything I throw at it. You know, with no difficulty. Of course, if you if you flip upside down, you're gonna have to go and get it, but so far, so good, man. Let's fly through the grass here. Let's go back down over the neighbors. Ooh, we got reverse, thank you. Awesome. So you could do a little bit of, you know, surveillance with this little guy too. Not only is it fun to bash, but it's actually pretty silent when you're just coasting slow. 
and then open it wide up if you need to. Let's go. Let's go pretty fast down the street, the sidewalk here. Woohoo! Do not want to get in that storm drain again. But I think if I just launch it right here, whoa, should be okay. Back up the street. There's my house, my cars. I'm full throttle. Let's go full throttle right here. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> nice. We flipped, but then we're back up. Lucky. All right, cool. Little, little hump there. Let's see if we can get over this sidewalk thing. Yep. Okay, let's jump this. Go. Woohoo! Not really a big jump, but just a little bit of a jump. I want to do some more bashing on these rocks. Let's just really try to nail some big rocks here. Whoop. Go. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Let's see if we can get out. Oh man, it's like I'm high centered. Oh, yeah, we made it through. All this fail is just full throttle it and move the wheels back and forth for a while. So as you can see, this thing is loads of fun. <laughs> it just sails over everything. I'm just gonna keep bashing on these rocks until we either break something. Oh, that was a nice jump. Oops. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I could just do this all day long. Full throttle. Ooh. Oh, I felt like I nailed it right into the front tire, but on the box they say bash it hard, so I'm bashing it hard. Oh, okay. I couldn't. <laughs> of course, there's a limitation. So, we gotta go flip this again. Okay, so flipping it over. I've been bashing pretty hard. The camera's got some scrapes on it, the top of the camera, but everything's still on. Um, nothing's broken. Cool. Let's keep on going. Oh, nice one. I think I may have stripped something. <laughs> oh. I may have either stripped something or that's just some like gravel or rocks or dirt got in something and it's working its way out. Anyway, let's just keep going. Oh man. Let's go down the street again. It still goes fast. One of the tires feels a little wobbly. Let's go back up the street. Yeah. Full throttle. Boom! <laughs> Man, I went right full throttle into that little bump curb. I don't want to hit my legs. Let's try to go right through. Woohoo! Yeah! Launching. This sounds like that, that little click kind of worked itself out. I don't hear it anymore. That's good. <laughs> Just keep on bashing. That's what they say this thing can do, so I'm bashing it. Oh, man. Uh oh. Looks like we're getting low on power. Very low. Oh, oh. Yep, full throttle and it just shut off. So I have no more throttle response. Cool, well, that's what we can expect for the battery life. So between the uh, between the line of sight and this FPV, I'll have the flight, um, not flight time, but drive time pop up on the screen here. So you guys can see just how long that lasted for me. You can see how I have no more um, throttle, but I do have steering. So that's a low voltage cutoff, is what I'm trying to say. Kind of like a virtual reality walk. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, let's do a little pros and cons on this guy. Okay guys, so um, remember, it gets quite hot down here where the motor is, but that's normal for, for any uh, truck like this. So remember, this is on a separate battery, this camera. Um, so you can actually turn off the turn on the power switch here and it will turn off the FPV camera and the main car but it will leave this recording so we turn that off 
and then you see the blinking red light we want to make sure we stop the recording on this so I'm pressing that button on the side there one time and the light is solid red and then we can go ahead and unplug the camera so let's go ahead and go through our little pros and cons unfortunately I didn't have a chance to use this antenna I was thinking about maybe putting it on when I was through these two houses so I could see if it gave it better signal I imagine it would a little bit but just like any RC with um, wireless video, you're gonna have breakup going through houses and stuff, but maybe at a later date, I'll try that antenna. I will have had the video of the FPV goggles I was seeing, and also um, this guy up here in the screen, at times maybe full screen so you could see it, and other times, you know, one, one big, one small. Uh, so this guy is just a little bit warm, the FPV here. This is really hot where the motor is almost too hot to touch especially that little screw there is really hot um, as far as durability goes it seems good I was a little bit worried about that clicking I heard but you know what it seems okay I think I think maybe just maybe a rock or some some gravel got in the dog bone out drive and was clicking and then it kind of went away so pretty good the FPV was super clear so if you're as long as you're on the right channel um, you're gonna have great FPV at distance and of course, you know with any FPV setup the more obstructions you have The worse it's gonna get the farther you go away. So what you could do is You know put like a Receiver antenna up on a post or something or on the top of your house and you can go all around your subdivision The thing about FPV is line of sight as long as there's no obstructions, you'll get really good signal. So for what it was, very durable, and it was really fun to drive even in just line of sight, bashing around without the FPV on, but putting the FPV on, putting this camera on, a whole new level of driving around RC with first person view. So very impressed. It's cool that you can change the lights on the back, I guess for night driving if you wanted to. You're not gonna see that in FPV, of course. That's more of a line of sight thing. Unless maybe you had a few of these and you guys were with your friends and you wanted different color lights that might be kind of cool i did some flipping and this camera seemed to hold up i mean i was grinding it on the pavement there and it just got a little bit scuffed up on the top but the lens is fine it's got a nice pretty protective collar here plastic on the top so this this camera might get a little bashed up but the fpv camera in there is going to be fine super protected great frame everything worked awesome you have some adjusting you can do to make it more springy um, for bigger jumps and stuff, but I really wanted to get good smooth FPV So I left the shock stock Kind of how they were to soak up the little bumps and it seemed to do pretty well And you can see I was really bashing it hard in those rocks over there. I was full throttle most of the time launching it and I can see you know a few scuff marks, but nothing's broken and That's kind of what I expected from this one because oh, yeah, there's there's like a bunch of dust and rocks that got kind of on the oil of the drive shaft so maybe that's what that clicking was some gravel got in there but it seems okay now so I kind of expected this thing to be super durable because it's got thick metal everywhere super durable plastic the bottom of it is a really good shape to just slide across stuff you can see in some situations I was like totally like weird and I just kept like turning the wheels and pushing forward in FPV and I finally self righted itself of course if it flips over you're not going to really be able to self right yourself so you're going to have to go and get it like I was talking about it does look like you might be able to fit a little bit of a bigger battery in here either higher or maybe about a half an inch longer so if maybe like a a 2000 milliamp hour give you a few more minutes of runtime but anyway guys for what it was super fun and super impressed this thing can take some big hits and keeps on going and it's just a blast to drive uh, you can see the range was great I never did get out of RC controller range um, as far as the control goes did have a little bit of a tuning to do with the throttle trim so keep that in mind if you if you're like oh where's the reverse look at that little red light on the ESC and make sure that you adjust the throttle trim so the little red lights off when you're when you have no throttle if there was one little con on this thing it's kind of hard to change the channels on here so you probably just want to stick to one channel and then work on changing it 
you know on whatever receiver you have if you've got a scanner even better these have a scanner in them you don't even have to worry about changing the channel of course if you're around other people that are using fpv of course you are going to have to change this so remember clicking it once kind of just moves the osd around from the top to the bottom or turns it off and then clicking and holding it changes the channels as far as what i could see so anyway guys really fun I'll have the links down in the description again. I hope you enjoyed that review and it was informative for you. And you enjoyed that little bash and that full review. It was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.